just done a all core overclock and riser master on a 3600X. It's got AOI water cooling thing. Uh, stupid Samsung. Okay. So I'm going to push them all to 4.4, left at voltage. It's stock there. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So they're all overclocked to 4.4. So this I would do just before playing a game, not in normal Windows. Although they're not really doing anything anyway, the processors. Uh, that's idling away at that temperature. The 2080 is idling at 30 degrees. So obviously this is uh, not testing with a game running which turns the tower into a fanny to <laughs> test that afterwards. Uh, so at stock usually get about 3700 uh, but a 4.4 gets about 3900 it's not much more but I suppose it's worth it in a game. Okay let's test any bench now at 4.4 see what happens to the figures Camera's terrible on this Samsung S7 Edge. Sorry. Okay. There we go. So let's go to home mode. It's still going. So all the cores are at uh, 4.4. Which knew how many watts it was using instead of a percentage. I don't know, could be asked to work it out. Okay, so it's not really using 1.425 volts as it uh, says there. It's apparently it's using 1.38 volts. So can I increase the voltage safely? Temperature's not too bad, I suppose. It's within tolerance, I guess. CPU power, 108 watts. I thought it was a 95 watt chip. Still going out properly. It's just got about 3,900. There you go. All cores 4.4, stable. No throttling. We're scoring 3,900. A lot more than. Uh, stock okay 3893 probably because of all this crap running so stable uh, i've yet to test it in games which really uh, heats things up a bit so i'll test games next